Hello there! I'm Ted. And I'm Susan. Welcome, Welcome to, to Sharp Cooking. Cooking. Hello folks, I hope you're all having a sharp day. I know that I am, and we're gonna kick off this inaugural episode with a recipe that's near and dear to my heart. It's my great Uncle Deggery's beef tenderloin, complete with famous... <coughs> you forgot to introduce us, Tad. I was building up to it, huh? To my right is my wonderful Can Cook Anything family. I made that up myself who will be assisting me on the show. Now, speaking of inaugural episodes, this dish premiered at President Tad here is preparing a beef tenderloin, in French pronounced viande bovine filet. Which means delicious. Now we're gonna take this grain-fed, locally raised, hand-massaged tenderloin. How can we help, Tad? You know what they say about gardens, hon? I do. They say you have to look out for the squash because the vines have a way of taking over the entire garden and they don't pay their income tax. So then you end up with... So let's find something to keep you busy. Um, I got an idea. We'll have a contest. The three of you can start out making some side dishes. What a great way to show off yeah. our cooking abilities. Yeah. All right, starting now for 15 minutes. Son, don't forget, cooking, not pastries. I can cook other things. Son, we've been over this. Pastry chefs like you are not cooks. That's why I'm not paying for your school. Take it easy on him, Tad. <laughs> we all know who's gonna win anyway. Would that be the one sleeping with DJ? Uh, don't worry, Eddie. It's not enough to sway the vote. While they're all working on their side dishes, let's get back to the beef tenderloin. Now we're going to take some seasoning, which was created by my Aunt Dubby for the 1876 World's Fair. And like Ronald Reagan's anti-drug policy, we're gonna just say no to too much seasoning. A little bit of this, folks, goes a long way. <clears throat> While this is marinating, let's check on the side dishes. How's my little all-star chef doing? This one came out of the womb, ready to saute. Trust me, I have the scars. What do you have for us today, honey? Something special, that's for sure. Oh, she's such a little cutie. Remember, no oven. Oh, I know what we can do. Let's use these vine-picked cucumbers I took with my own bare hands. Right, Dad. Along with um, joining George Bush on his annual ski trip and being on a first-name basis with Sean Penn. Oh, such a nice man. Penn? Never mind. Let's go see what Jonathan is doing. Oh, hi. I'm making onion turnovers, which will nicely complement the rich texture of the beef. With baking, it's always important to measure. It's also important to keep a nice, clean workspace. I sometimes double bleach just to make sure, but it never really comes out. If you'll excuse me. Well, hello there. As a working mother, I think it's important to always remember... <coughs> You okay there, sugar face? I'm just fine, Susan. Because it's that time that we move this beauty into the oven for 20 magical minutes at 375. That is real salt of the earth work there you're doing, Tad. World would end if we didn't know what was going on with your meat. At least your mother's would. It's too bad she's so busy drinking away the family money. Oh, where was I? Right. So. As a working mother, I think it's important to keep our fat kids thin. So I'm making a beautiful beet feta gratin. Don't let the name fool you. You don't need a fancy culinary degree like myself to create it. Ten minutes! Hey, babe. about cutting these up perfectly. After all, life isn't perfect. And we're done! Mm. 
So a little beady. A little beady. That's the point, dear. Mm. Okay, now that you've tried them all several times, mm. who's the winner? Well, Addie's was good. Right, you could taste the uh, homegrown. Jonathan, you were disqualified. He didn't finish. And also it was bread. And you, Susan, I'm glad you asked. Because there's no one. Hey, yours. Do you want to take a minute and rethink that decision? Because it's wrong. I also have to take offense to the fact that bread isn't a qualifier. That, that was Look at your father and I am speaking. All of your dishes were super, okay? But this is a show about family and the main dish, which was made by mine. So what was the point of all this then? Just to make us suffer? I'm not my father, sweetie. No. The point of this was practice makes perfect. Don't you all feel like better chefs? No. Already was one, dear. Oh, <clears throat> that is my piece de resistance. <laughs> now look who's speaking French. <laughs> all right, folks, get around, get around, and get ready for this roast of a feast. Now, when I lift off this foil, you will notice the succulent juices, moist, tender. <laughs> It's, it's a little raw, Dad. Looks like it might still be alive. That's delicacy in some countries, son. Folks, that's it today from Sharp Cooking. And remember, you don't have to be in the upper class to cook like one. Now let's dig in!